it's time. Hey guys, if you have been around here for any length of time, you probably know there is one project that I have been looking forward to probably more than anything. Back in sometime over the summer, I made a kind of a mock-up of a kefta coat. If you're not aware of what a kefta coat is, it's kind of a costume coat from the Wheel of Time series, and Mood Fabrics has a free pattern for it that was designed by Sosteen. And when I saw the coat itself, I was like, yes, I want one of those. I don't want one of the fancy ones with all the embroidery, but I love the shape of it, and I knew I wanted to make one for real. Back in the summer, I made a mock-up of it. It turned out fine, it wasn't great, but now is the time where I'm gonna make it for real. And I'm so excited and I'm so nervous. This is one of those projects where like, I don't wanna screw it up. It's okay if I do. I have to remind myself it's okay if I do screw it up, but I don't want to because I want this to turn out well. I have no idea how long this video is going to end up being because I wanna do this right. I don't necessarily wanna do it fast. I say that and I've got Labor Day weekend to work on this. So can I make a wool coat in three days? I don't know, but I'm so excited to find out. Not only did I make the mock-up, but just a few weeks after that, I found a couple of wool blankets at Goodwill for like $5 each. That's what I'm gonna make this coat out of. Here's what the wool blankets look like. I have two of these and they are pretty large. I thought about dyeing them because I kind of wanted a dark wool coat, but I can always dye it later. So I'm just gonna make it in this color and see how it turns out. See if I like it. If I can get it made out of one blanket, that would be great. But if I can't, I'm, I've got a backup. Also, there's, I'm sure there's holes in this. I don't care. Ultimately, the little things like that I'm not worried about. I'm so nervous. I am going to grab my pattern pieces. I need to adjust them just a little bit for the, the waist, because I do want this to have a little bit more space in the waist than my mock-up did, so I can wear sweaters underneath it if I need to. We'll get to cutting stuff out. All of it's gonna be fine. It's gonna end up looking great, but I'm, I'm nervous. No time like the present to get started. It's not gonna get any easier the longer I wait. So let's, let's go do that. Believe it or not, this pattern is fairly simple. You have four pieces for the bodice. You have a collar piece, placket piece, a skirt piece, and then sleeves that I didn't show. So in order to make these pieces a little bit wider, I traced them onto just contractor paper, labeled each one, transferred any markings, and then when I cut it out, I gave myself maybe an extra quarter inch all the way around. It turned out to be just a skosh too big, but it's better to go too big than too small. That's what she said. Here goes nothing. No turning back now. Like the brave little toaster that I am, I cut out all of the pieces and uh, hoped for the best. Then I pinned everything together and I sewed it in place and I tried it on. For the first fitting, I was pretty happy with the way it fit but it was just a little bit too big, which I kind of anticipated because I had added so much seam allowance. So I pinned it together, sewed it in place, and tried it on again. Look at that confidence. I know that I'm going to want to make this again, so I decided to transfer the adjustments that I made onto my pattern pieces. So I'm just poking little holes in my pattern piece with a needle and then tracing it out so that I know what to do next time. And then I trimmed off some of the excess, pressed my seams, and got to work on some sleeves. So I hate doing sleeves. I hate setting them. They always seem like they're too big for the arm size. I hate them. 
So let me tell you how excited I was when I figured out I could probably make cape sleeves. Like seriously, they're capes for your arms. I have never felt more like a bougie bitch than when I tried on this with freaking cape sleeves. Day two was all about the skirt. So I got to cutting out the pattern pieces, pinning in the pleats, sewing it down, and trying it on. There's a pattern here, I promise. And what do you do after you fit it onto your bodice? That's right, you press your seams. Do you ever find yourself in the middle of a project and then you become completely stymied by the mess that past you left for now you so that you have to clean it up? Yeah, me too. So after a quick cleanup, wasn't that like magic? I'm really proud of that. After a quick cleanup, I had a lot more space where I could actually lay things out and not hunch on the floor to iron things like a troll. I did add one pocket to this. I should have added more, but I didn't. Don't come at me. And then I lined up the skirt with the bodice, getting the back seams as close together as possible. They're not perfect, but they're close enough. And then I prayed to the sewing gods and sewed the thing together. And uh, hoping for the best, I threw it on my mannequin and it didn't really look too bad. I mean, the waist was a little low, but it actually looked like a coat. And I mean, again, cape sleeves, chef's kiss. The original pattern for this calls for hook and eye closures with a placket, but I wasn't real sure that's what the way I wanted to go. So because I didn't know which way I wanted to go, I could not figure out the closure part of this. So I quit for the day. Day two has been infinitely harder than I thought it was going to be. The one thing that I kind of forgot when I cut the skirt pattern is to give it a little bit more space. So I did not make them bigger like I did the bodice pieces, which means that I had to finagle the seam allowances to get it to match up with the bodice seam allowances. So that part's not perfect. It's sitting lower on the waist than I want it to. Also, I'm covered. I mean, absolutely covered in wool shavings, shreddings, just covered. So as much as I wanted to get this done this weekend, I don't think that's going to happen. It is warm-ish outside and it's warmish inside and working with wool and an iron means that it is just downright sweaty. I still haven't decided if I want to leave the sleeves as a cape sort of sleeve or if I want to sew them up and make them actual sleeves. I am kind of digging the cape sleeves a lot. So that'll be one of the last things I do, just to decide if that's the direction I want to go or not. I'm going to stop here, I think, for the day and kind of ponder my life. And I'm going to let the skirt hang just in case it I accidentally cut it on the bias and it needs to be trimmed down, which I probably did because why wouldn't I? So yeah, overall, today has been productive, but not what I was hoping for, I guess. And then I have to figure out buttons and I have no idea how to do buttons or a closure for this. Look, there's Oscar, he's right there. I'm gonna go take a shower and uh, I'm gonna relax a little bit because I'm gross and I'm done. Until tomorrow or whenever I can pick it up again. Welcome to day three. I'm trying to keep myself from getting overwhelmed so I'm probably doing less in a day than I normally would if I was really pushing to get something done quickly. So I don't feel like this is going as fast as I want it to. That's okay. I have to keep reminding myself that's okay. It'll be fine. Today's big challenge is to figure out the closure part of it. I don't know what I want to do for the closure part. Buttons seem like the best option, but the original pattern calls for hooks and eyes. 
So I don't know. <laughs> and I probably should have had it figured out by now, but I just don't know. I'm also gonna get the skirt hemmed. No, not yet, because I do need to do a lining for this. It's not pretty enough on the inside to not do a lining. I've got a lot to do today. Okay, cool. It's gonna be fine. You know how I said I was going to do the closure part of this? In order to procrastinate, I decided to do the collar instead. I did line it with an interfacing. I trimmed off the excess, turned it right sides out, and put a top stitch all the way around. And then I got it pinned to my my coat. This stand-up collar is probably one of the primary reasons I picked the coat in the first place because I just think it makes it look pretty badass. So this is when I really started to get excited. I got everything sewn in place. I did have to do a little bit of hand sewing just for extra control, but it was worth it, even being stabbed. But look at how that collar immediately changes the vibe of this coat. Like, I went from Matron to Matrix in an instant. And I mean the movie, not the profession. Hey, here's some more hot ironing content for you. Get it? Hot. And then I safely got to work on cutting out the lining pieces. If you thought making the coat was boring, making the lining is way worse. So I'll spare you most of the details and just let you know I sewed it together I pressed my seams and I got it placed inside the coat. This required even more trying on and even more hand sewing, but once I got it done, I was ready for the reveal. forgot to film an outro so I am so appreciative of everyone that watches this and hopefully you found some sort of inspiration in this or at least some tips on what not to do I fully recommend that you go and make yourself a cape sleeve coat because it's amazing if you like this video and you'd like to see more hit the subscribe button give me a like and a comment and let me know what you might want to see in the future and I will see you guys next time.